I hate Black Friday. And there are a whole bunch of stories on the news. So we're going to have a big news rant here, as you can see the length of the video. And we also have a guest star today who also hates Black Friday bullshit, Sharky626. What's up, guys? Indeed. Okay, so let's get started. They left the Thanksgiving dinner table early in search of big holiday deals before Black Friday. Right, shoppers already hitting the stores tonight. Night size Pat Dolan at Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City. Pat? Well, Colleen Lee, not everyone is involved with the idea of shopping on Thanksgiving, but as you can see behind me... Yes, he's getting photobombed, okay? Save it from the comments, will you? There is no shortage of enthusiastic Long Islanders bent on bagging those door-busting deals. Look at these retarded fucks. Oh my god, we're going to save 50%. Oh, i got to get the newest China Pride. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's stand out in the cold for 14 hours. Fuck Thanksgiving, I want to save $5. And take a bunch of selfies, too. <laughs> While you're at it. Yeah, while you're at it, yeah. Plenty of thumbs up as shoppers poured through the doors and crowded the malls, all intent on getting an early jump on holiday bargains. Whether you're about fashion or gadgets or little pink bears, it seemed like everyone was on a mission. Get a head start on the sales and... What? Wait, what? Why? What? Why, do, why are you entitled to that? Are, are you here legally? That, that's, that's my question, but okay. Walk off the food. See any good bargains? Many, but we're gonna still oh, same last name. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was just disgusting right there. Okay, only eighty nine ninety nine. Buy this China Pride. It's so good. Oh my god! You can even take a selfie when you buy it. And then another selfie a month later when it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> with with the pouty face. Exactly. This year, the Black Friday type deals began weeks ago, but tonight, it didn't seem to douse the sizzle of the official launch of the holiday season. Store owners counting on a boost from the recovering economy trotted out their best discounts, and consumers were biting at items. Oh, 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 oh lots of grief. Lots of grief. There you go. That That's coming back in a month. Oh, yeah. If that. Right right before Christmas. Oh, can I, get, can I exchange it? Um, no, we don't have any more of them. Okay, but I need it. Uh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Well, I want it for that price. Can I get it for that price? No, that was Black Friday. Yeah, but I was here then. Well, this is a counterfeit receipt, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Like large screen TVs and high tech refrigerators. You can operate it from your cell phone. You can operate it from your cell phone. A fridge that you can operate from your cell phone. Now, let's just see what Sharky has to say first. Yeah, I, I mean, as far as I can remember, guys, you know, the basic purpose of a refrigerator was to, you know, either cool your food down or freeze your food, depending on what part of the uh, appliance you put it in. But now, what's this? Like, get you off with your phone? Well, what? that's that's exactly what I was saying, because... Last I checked, I mean, you can you can say, okay, yeah, g give me that fridge, delivery Wednesday, I'll be home, fine. Okay, so 3 o'clock, they ring your doorbell, okay, we have your new fridge, great, let's get rid of my old one that's still working fine, but this one is cooler, because I can control it with my fucking phone. Okay, now, so what's going to happen is they're going to bring it in, scratch your walls up, you know, shit like that. They're gonna go and plug it in, connect a water line if it has the, the ice maker thing, and, and plug it in, and they're gonna turn it on, it'll start up, and it starts getting cold. And the, you set the temperature to whatever, where you think it's gonna be, and then you wait. And a day later, you'll check it and make sure it's working, which half the time it won't be, so you'll have to fucking go through this whole rigmarole again. But, once that's all set, last I checked, the fridge pretty much takes care of itself. If it gets too warm in there, it turns on automatically. And when it says, okay, it's cold enough, it shuts off all by itself. And then you go to open the door, guess what? The light goes on all by itself. And when you close the door, holy shit, it goes out. Oh my God. What are you controlling with your phone? 
What is there to fucking control? Like, I guess one of the things they do want to control is like, you know, oh, am I going to put meat in there today or vegetables? Like, who knows? And, you know, l l let let's also think about the fact of, you know, um, if that phone control thing stops working, I guarantee you the refrigerator stops working. You have meat in there? Nope, spoiled. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Yep, all gone. <laughs> Too bad. And, of course, they're not responsible for your no, spoiled No, shit, no, no. Oh, but see, you have to talk to Apple, who doesn't have the warranty on this uh, appliance. <laughs> <laughs> So should you get out early and grab those Black Friday deals or wait a couple of weeks until the stores get really desperate for customers? Well, experts say if you do wait, prices could get even cheaper. But there's a downside. Sure, prices and the, and the advertised discounts get bigger, but the choice is much less. So you might not get the right size or the right color or the right model. The solution to Black Friday bullshit. Online shopping. Who to thunk it? Holy shit! I don't even have to fucking leave the house. I don't even have to fucking get dressed. I can just click, click, click and type in my credit card number so I can buy all sorts of China Pride that's only going to break in a fucking week anyway. I want you to keep your receipts if prices get lower. Some stores will grant a refund for the difference. And if you need an extra reason to hunt down those bargains, there are plenty out there. Happy wife, happy life. I can't complain with that. And if the balls are just too much for you, many of the same deals are available online. Oh, like look. Monday, just around the corner. At Roosevelt Field Mall, packed over. News for Long Island. So that was the first story. Now we'll go to the second one. Now, somebody else enters the picture here. You know who he is. That jolly fuck that makes you buy all this shit because, of course, his L's made all of it. So that's why you're buying all of it. I mean, that makes sense, right? You know, big warehouse up in the North Pole delivers everything to every happy, good little boy and girl in the entire United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, because they have Navidad down there, I hear. And, uh, you know, in any other country, if you celebrate it, you know, and he's there, rain, snow, sleet, doesn't matter, the temperature, nothing. He can always get out. It's not like, I can't come into work. There's 46 feet of snow. Nope, fuck that. No, nope, he can just do it. And a big fat guy is going down your chimney. Yeah, that, that works all the time. Especially the houses now, the little fucking gingerbread boxes they put up now, where they don't even have a chimney, and Santa's got to go in that little fucking, uh, uh, PVC pipe coming out the side of your house. Yeah, he definitely fits in there. No problem. And then where does he end up? Getting burned up in the boiler. Makes a lot of sense. Get out the credit card. Cough up the cash. It's Black Friday. Long Islanders hitting the stores today to get their hands on the hottest deals. News 12 Long Island's Erin Colton is at the Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City where shoppers, she has shoppers and a very special guest. Yeah, I am sitting on one very important lap right now. Let's talk to the man of the month, Santa Claus. I now, I don't know about you, but that kind of sounded like Santa Claus to me. It's, you can take it either way. It could be Santa, it could be Stana. It just depends on your speakers. And I, I hear it both ways, depending on the TV I watch it on, so I don't know. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. I can't believe right now, this is a dream come true that I'm interviewing you. <laughs> it's a dream for me too. <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah, where's it going with that? <laughs> yeah. Now, this isn't the full story. This is just what's on the online thing on the, on the you know, with the remote cicaded and that. Um, but before they were talking, I saw the actual, like, live broadcast. And, uh, you know, they're going to talk about who's naughty or nice or whatever. And she says, so how was I, Santa? And he says, well, we can't discuss that on the air. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, obviously that's not in this story, but I figured you'd like to know. Oh, 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 oh. oh absolutely, Aaron. I know who you are. I know what you've been up to, too. I know him. <laughs> what do you think about all of these Black Friday shoppers? I think it's wonderful. I love the holiday season. There's nothing better. Everybody's having fun. <laughs> when you see people come out so early and shop through the night, do you ever think it's a little too much? Well, I think it's a little bit much on Thanksgiving, I think. Right. I think we should wait until after Thanksgiving, give thanks, and then come out and shop. <laughs> wow. Give that man a raise. Said from the professional, the holiday. 
call it a professional, yeah. but there were sales here and still have sales here at uh, Roosevelt Field Mall. There were lines, uh, there's 50% off, 40% off, buy one, get one free. Lots of bargains going on on this Black Friday. But now, I, let me go back for a quick second here. Free, lots of bargains. Now, you, you see? You see right there? It's hard to see, but I caught it at just the right time. 50% off. Get you in the store. Oh, oh, look. Select exclusive something, whatever. So that's not the whole store 50%. So why are you out on a line in the cold? And of course, everybody else is out there. You all just had Thanksgiving. Everybody is farting all over each other out there. I mean, do you really want to put yourself up to this? There's going to be at least... 50 people online that have a cold, chances are you're going to be one of them that ends up catching it. Is it really fucking worth it? Yeah, now as you just saw there, a lot of people are standing online. That's really having a lot of fun right there. Absolutely. Way back in the day before online shopping and, you know, before we really did that kind of stuff, I used to do my Christmas shopping in, ready? August. Yep. No sales, because on Black Friday, guess what I want to do? Sleep in. That's right, not deal with this kind of bullshit. I don't need to be saving $5 off of this only $89.99. No, I don't need the fucking $5 to put up with the, the, uh, all the people and all the crowds and the noise and the bullshit. It's not worth my $5. Not worth my five dollars in the least. And everybody would look at me like I had 15 heads. Sorry, I can't edit that into the video, but uh, if somebody wants to try. Anywho, um, then I'd hit him with the stinger at the end. And I'd just say, and come January, I have no bills. And of course, at that point, they throw their hands up in the air, turn around, and walk away because they don't know what the fuck just hit them. Is going on on this Black Friday, but yes, it did start last night. There was lines at the Tanker Outlets in Riverhead. Uh, a lot of hype for shopping on Thanksgiving night, but again, Black Bullshit. Friday. It's always going to be Black Friday. The deals are out there, and we spoke to the Black Friday Queen. This is my Black. Now, before we get into her, um. You know, I'm really surprised with how fucking politically correct this goddamn country has become that we're still allowed to call this Black Friday. You know, isn't that racist? You know, what about other people who shop? Aren't there Latinos that shop? That's not fair to them. What about the white people? Well, nobody gives a shit about them anymore anyway. No, no, no. But any, you know, I mean, th this is getting racist at this point. I think they're going to have to change a goddamn name. That's what I think they're going to have to do. But anyway, look at this bitch here and what she does. She's like, um, like the, if you ever saw the show Extreme Couponing or Extreme Couponers or whatever the fuck it is that they call it on like TLC or something like that. Black Friday Bible and everything is in alphabetical order, all the sales, the coupons and the stores that I need to hit to get the great deal. How long does this take you to do? This takes me about half hour and that's with the bedazzle. And it's just a matter of cutting out the coupons and organizing what stores we're going to go to, what order, and the times that they open and close. I've never met anyone like you. It's exciting. This is my Super Bowl. Well, good for... Oh, look how fucking happy that... That's a selfie for fuckbook right oh, there. Oh, definitely, definitely. And, oh. like, you know... And, like, think about it, All those coupons, okay? Think about it, okay? If she doesn't go to any of those stores and doesn't use any of those coupons, she's saving even more money because she's spending nothing. Very good point. Very good point, indeed. And I think while we're on the subject of racist and all that kind of shit... This Bible thing? No, that that's not cool. I, I don't think Jesus wanted this going on. I don't know, but that you know that that's my, not my book. But anyway, that's that's anyway. We'll just go on because nobody know what the fuck I just said there. You have to love Monica from North Belmore, right? She does not mess around when it comes to her Black Friday deals. And speaking of Black Friday deals. It pays to work in the mall on Black Friday. Yeah, probably. No, not. it does not. For your guide to Black Friday deals across Long Island, just go to news12.com. Danielle? There's yet another story on this bullshit. We have boots, we have sweaters, we have 
scarves. We have jeans. Scarves. Scarves. Oh, yeah. Just what everybody wanted for Christmas. And, like, let's be serious here, okay? How many times is she even going to wear those, if at all? Everything $29.99 up, 40% off. Thank you, Julio. Thank you. I needed to know. On any day. Now what they're doing is, I think, all week the sales. So, you know, you really don't have to go out on Black Friday, but we do because it's fun. No, it's because you're fucking crazy, bitch. That's why. According to a new nationwide survey from Bankrate.com, oh, perfect. percent of adults will be hitting the stores today because more like people seeing are that. offering discounts. I like seeing that down arrow. The holiday season. When you look around the mall, the sale signs are everywhere. Merchants offering deep discounts like 50% off, buy three, get three free. Even the mall is offering shoppers deals to get them off their computers and into the stores. Huh. So if you go to guest services and buy Gap gift cards, you get $30 free, you know, for the next week or so. We're also doing a gift with purchase to let people know about all the new stores that we've added in the Neiman Marcus wing. Monica. In the Neiman Marcus wing. Oh, isn't that just hoity fucking toity right there? We opened up a whole new wing just for you crazy Black Friday shoppers. A whole new wing. Look at how much money we spent on that. Now we got to make that money back. And that's why that 50% off? Bullshit. It's all bullshit. You're saving nothing. The best way to save money on Black Friday, like Sharky said, not buy anything. That's the best way you're going to save money. Paula Check says when it comes to checking off her list for her Facebook son, she says she saw what she needs online but is hoping to actually buy it here in the And store. then you find it's out. To see and, you know, it's better to see and try it on than to buy it online. Well, that was pretty uh, pretty thick right there. last little story on this. All well, that traffic turned into a holiday headache. That's right. Nightside's Virginia Huey spoke to some frustrated shoppers at the Tanger Outlets in Deer Park. Oh, it's crazy. It's Black Friday traffic madness at the Tanger Outlets in Deer Park. Thousands of shoppers flocked to the outdoor mall to score some deep discounts, but many bargain hunters got more than they bargained for. For two miles. It's just like an hour to get here for like two miles, so it's like terrible. Chopper 12 gives you a bird's eye view of the traffic chaos. The first problem for shoppers... Now, do you want to be stuck in traffic like that? Holy fucking shit. I don't know how many stretch of miles you see there, but uh, that is a line of fucking cars. And like the guy said, an hour for two miles? Oh yeah, saving so much money, 50% off. Oh my god, the savings, and you burned half a tank of gas sitting in traffic. And with gas prices today, yep, you're saving a bundle, absolutely. Definitely. Navigating the long line of traffic on Comac Road to get to the outlets. Then there was a challenge of finding parking. Very hard to get here. No parking anywhere. Drove all around over there looking for... Well, what did you expect, really? Parking. Nowhere to park. It's pretty packed, uh, bad traffic coming through, no parking. Many resorted to parking their cars in other shopping centers blocks away and walking to the outlets. We weren't sure if we wanted to come out, but, you know, it uh, seemed like a nice day, but we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. Where the fuck have you been for the last fucking 90 years? How long has this shit been going on and you didn't know what you were getting yourself into? Where the fuck have you been all this time? Are you fucking serious? We couldn't even get in there to park. We had to park at the grocery store over here. Yeah. The horrors. It was a repeat of the Black Friday traffic nightmare from last year. This was a scene at Tanger Outlets on Black Friday 2015. What is this, a fucking Russian car crash video? Do you want to be stuck in this to save five fucking dollars? I don't think it's worth the goddamn aggravation. That's what I think.
And yeah, you see, okay, any person who was in this in 2015, as it says there on the screen, any person with common sense would see this and be like, screw this, I'm not doing this again next year. But no, nope, common sense is a thing of the past, as everyone knows. Absolutely, nobody has any fucking common sense, because they're all looking to save a few dollars on China Pride bullshit that's gonna fucking break in the first year of ownership, and you're not gonna get any goddamn satisfaction under that fucking useless warranty they fucking give you. This shit makes my blood fucking boil. This pisses me off. And all these goddamn people, all these fucking people that work in the goddamn retail stores, and they have to come out and lose, lose their fucking Thanksgiving. Like I'm losing my fucking mind. They have to lose their Thanksgiving for this shit. So people will go and buy stupid shit because this is the day, the one day of the year that is gonna make or break a store staying open or closing their fucking doors. I think this is disgusting and whoever invented this shit should be shot. And that's the very least that I can possibly say on this. Cars were jammed in nearly every aisle of the parking lot paralyzing traffic in the intersections. Shoppers sat in their cars for hours, but many of those same bargain hunters are back at it again this year. Fucking retarded! How fucking retarded do you have to be to fucking go through this shit? I don't know how many people are in here. There's a guy over there on the right who needs to put his teeth back in his mouth. But as far as everybody else is concerned, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least that I can tell on here. And of course, you can't even see what's down the hall here. <laughs> and they're all, mo it's a fucking mob. Because they say the frustration. Look at this shit. They're all standing in line. The guy over there, let's take a look here. The guy over there in the gray jacket, okay, he farts. This guy's got to smell it. Then that guy farts. Then the next one does. And it just goes down the line. Because there you were. Fuck Thanksgiving. Let's go shopping for shit we don't need, we don't want, and that our kids aren't going to like. And they're going to complain because they wanted this thing, but it was too expensive. So we got them that thing instead. And now they're going to be the ones to come back after Christmas break. And then, of course, there's going to be all the kids in the school before the teacher comes in. I'm going to be talking amongst themselves, and they're going to be saying, shit, well, Jimmy, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, I got a new pony. Johnny, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, I got, I got a first car, even though I'm only 15. You know, all this great shit like that, and then they go to the next kid. They go to Jay, and they say, Jay, what did you get for Christmas? I said, well, I don't celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Hanukkah. Oh, okay, well, what'd you get for Hanukkah then? A uh, box of crayons. And we're talking about all the uh, flatus from all of these people. God forbid Joe ever goes out on one of these runs over here. Holy shit, he'll knock the whole goddamn line down. That's the way you go Black Friday shopping. Worth <laughs> <laughs> it. Well, we got here uh, maybe four hours ago. It wasn't that bad. Um, now getting out, it's a little more difficult to get out. About 15 minutes to get out. Um, it's not bad for the bargains that we got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah makes perfect sense in my book. Not only that, since when was when is fifteen minutes more difficult than four hours? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, she, yeah. That she, makes she, yeah. She she, she 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 failed math all one apparently. Yeah, well, it's Common Core, so yeah. There you go. Yeah. And with the holiday shopping weekend ahead, police are advising shoppers heading here to the Tanger Outlets to park at the Deer Park train station, where a shuttle service will be provided in oh. Deer Park, Virginia Hill oh. News Twelve. Well, of course, we know what it all boils down to. The public sucks. Just like George Carlin said. The public sucks. And everybody in the public, and this might include some of you, are fucking retarded. People who work in retail have to deal with all of you assholes out there all day long and all you fucking complaining and you whining that the lines are too long. What did you fucking expect was going to happen? But I don't think that's really the main point here. The point is this. The point that 
a lot of these stores now, JCPenney and Macy's and all the big names like that, are opening on Thanksgiving. Again, to say the very least, that's disgusting. That is fucking disgusting, is what that is. Plus, are the sales really worth it to the retailers? Because everybody who works on Black Friday is going to have to get paid some sort of bonus or holiday pay or time and a half or what have you. Yeah, I know they're only making about minimum wage or a dime above that or so. I understand that. But even so, when you add another 50% onto that, suddenly it becomes, oh, shit, we're actually paying these people, you know, almost like, uh, well, here... They're getting like the $15 an hour bullshit that they wanted, which thankfully we're not going to have to do with that shit. But that's another video entirely. But I think it's fucking disgusting that they're sacrificing Thanksgiving for the sake of Christmas. That is disgusting. Thanksgiving is a family day. You get together with your family. You have a nice meal. You have a good time. Maybe even get drunk. And then, month later, Christmas rolls around. It's a family day, and most stores are... Oh, yeah, guess what? Closed. Fucking closed. Why? Why? There's gonna be thousands of people who didn't even go out on Christmas Eve, and they have a Christmas Day party, because Christmas Day obviously opened all the, the presidents and stuff, and there's going to be people that want to go out and shop and get shit because they procrastinated that long. Remember, those are the same people that said to their kids, you mean you knew about this book report three weeks ago, and now it's due Monday, and you're starting it now at 7 o'clock on Sunday night? They're the same people folks, the same fucking people. Well, I think I better go take my blood pressure medication. Don't go Black Friday shopping. It's just not fucking worth it. And guess what today is, folks? That's right. It's Cyber Monday. Do your shopping now. And if a website crashes while you're on there because everybody else is on there trying to buy all the shit, it just wasn't meant to be. Too fucking bad. Buy somebody socks. I don't know what else to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Happily, some people don't give a flying fuck through a rolling donut about Black Friday bullshit. In the Nemus, ne in all right. In the Nemus, Nemus. <laughs> I can't fucking say it. <laughs> in, I can't say it. <laughs> 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 in the Neiman Marcus wing.